In today's video, we are going to review this TV right here. This is the Samsung 43 inch UHD TV, smart TV by Samsung. This is today's review video. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So maybe you're in the market to buy a Samsung 43 inch TV and maybe this is the particular model that you're looking at or maybe you're just wanting to get a review on what this video or what this TV is like. Uh, so today I'm gonna give you my review of actually owning this TV for a little bit of time now. Uh, now the good thing about this is I. I mean, I don't work for Samsung, I don't work for Best Buy, I don't work for Amazon, I don't work for any of those companies. I'm an actual consumer who bought this TV and I wanted to give an honest review of what it's been like. These are the kind of videos that I like to watch on YouTube, so I thought I would make one on this TV to maybe help you guys out and maybe you're in the market to buy one. All right, so this TV here, I've got it hanging on my wall here. This is a pallet wall that I built and I've got a Samsung sound bar mounted underneath it. And then I actually just recently uh, put a hole in the wall there to hide the cables behind the wall and underneath there uh, to do a little bit of cable management. I'm real big on that. I don't like to see cords if I can't help it. Uh, so I was able to hide all those cables behind this wall. That wasn't a very easy job. So. Uh, but I got it done. I was proud of myself and it was the first time that I've been able to hide cables like that. Uh, but this particular space here is like my office and this TV here is a perfect size TV for this little space that I have. Now this is the 43 inch TV. As you can tell it fits perfectly on this wall as far as sizing goes on width and the end. Um, then with the sound bar to complement the sound on it because a lot of times these TVs the sound isn't that great so sometimes you got to buy sound bars now that's not every TV and you don't have to get a sound bar uh, sometimes they do sound good themselves and what I've experienced with Samsung is Samsung is one of the better TVs at having audio uh, built within the TV versus some of these other brands where you almost have to buy a sound bar uh, to supplement the sound. But this TV does well without a sound bar, but I had a sound bar already, so I just went ahead and added it to this little setup. Now, this is the 4K ultra high definition. Now, if you've never really owned a UHD TV before, ultra high definition, you're in for a treat because the images on it look like they're there. I mean, they're like, they're, they're not. They're not like blurry, okay? They're really defined. And so whenever you're watching people on, on the screen, it's like they're right there. So I love living in today's day and age where the clarity of televisions is so much better than what they were just five years ago. Now, the great thing about this thing is it is a smart TV, so it has all its smart components built in it. You don't need to buy one of those sticks like a Fire Stick, a Roku Stick, or anything like that to stick into TV. It's already all built in there in Samsung's smart interface that's on built into a lot of these smart TVs that they're releasing. And I think that's the way of the future anyways. Uh, I think the, the sticks are probably going to go away, um, and all TVs are probably going to end up going to become smart TVs. So if you're going to buy one, go ahead and just get a smart TV so that way you're future proofing yourself and you're, you're setting yourself up for the future pretty much. All right my furnace finally kicked off so now I won't hear that sound and you guys can maybe hear me better. Okay so right now I do have Disney Plus on the screen here. This, this is been the channel that my family's been watching for a while now but it does have all the apps on there. So there's a home icon that you hit there and then the Samsung menu pops up in the bottom and shows you all the different apps that you can get. Now, some of these you have to download. Some of them come pre-installed on the TV already. Um, so you would have to set up a Samsung account in order to get these. Everything's free as far as downloading a Samsung account. Um, now, getting these apps, some of them you do have to pay for, obviously, like uh, Netflix is on here. I got Disney Plus Prime Video. So if you're an Amazon Prime member, you get the Prime Video for free. Uh, we got Hulu, Apple TV, which is a great addition because sometimes Apple, Samsung, Apple doesn't play well with other companies, but they are on the Samsung TV. So I'm really thankful for that. Um, I do have the Spectrum app. And now if you are a Spectrum customer, um, it's your cable, your local TV. 
um, little caveat with Spectrum is that they signed a deal where they are allowed to be on Samsung TVs. You can download a Spectrum TV app or Roku. Those are the only two that Spectrum works with at this point in time making this video. And then another app I have on there is the Fandango. And then there's a TV Plus app right there. That's one that's installed in the Samsung TV. They have their own like uh, little TV channel there that has other options on there to watch some free TV. So that maybe if you don't have the money, you don't wanna buy some of these apps, you can still watch TV with that. You just have to have an internet connection. It's got YouTube on there, YouTube TV. So in case you're into that and watch, like watching uh, these kind of videos on your TV, you can do that here also. But it's got the ability to download all your major apps for your streaming television. Now, as far as the clarity of this TV, it is awesome. It is that 4K ultra high definition. So the picture is awesome pretty much on any app that you watch it on whether it be you know, your Hulu, your Netflix, or your Spectrum TV, you're gonna get a good picture on this. So if you're gonna buy a TV, invest a little bit of money in it and make sure you're buying a good quality TV like this one here. Here's a few more features that this thing has when you go into the settings of this TV. It's got the standard picture mode or you can change that. It's got four other ones on there that you can choose from. Like it's got, it's got movie mode, it's got dynamic, it's got standard, and it's got natural. I just go with the standard myself. Oh, now I just switched it to natural, but there's not a whole lot of difference I, to me, so I just kind of go with the standard. I think it just looks good. I do have an audio out optical, so it's hooked up with an audio cable, that uh, one of those optical cables that goes from your sound bar to a TV. Um, but you can change that in the settings here if you had something else that you wanted to power the speakers with instead of just using the internal speakers that are built into this TV. So it gives you the ability to do that. Closed captioning if you want to watch TV with the words on there, which I actually do sometimes because sometimes my kids get a little bit noisy and I want to be able to hear what they're saying. But if I can't hear it, I'll read it. So I do keep that on every once in a while. Uh, it's got a sleep timer on there. I do have it off, but that's actually a good feature to have in case you're one that maybe likes to fall asleep to the TV and let it turn off after a little bit of time so that way it saves a little bit of energy saves you a little bit of electric on your bill um, and then you can connect it to your wi-fi network here so um, and the wi-fi antenna that's built into this thing is pretty good um, so if you are a good distance from your router um, it'll pick it up it's done it does a really good job now unless you got these steel concrete walls or something like that but um it, this one is a good distance from my home router and it picks it up just fine. I haven't had any lag or any issues with it. So they put a pretty good Wi-Fi antenna inside of this thing. Now, one of the new features that I did discover with this TV today in the process of getting this video started is they have the Roco channel uh, offer on this TV now. So that was something new that hadn't been offered uh, just last week or, or a couple weeks ago. Roco has their own like a TV network where you can watch free movies and free television shows on there. And so I was able to download that and add it to the home screen now. All right, so right there, Roco free TV for you. So that's my newest app that I downloaded on here. So it's something new that Samsung has offered. So that's kind of cool because, you know, Roco could possibly be you know, a, con a competitor to um, some of these TVs because they offer, you know, their own streaming service. So I like that these companies are starting to play well together and they're offering their content on each other's uh, devices. So yeah, it just makes it good for all of us, the consumer. Now here's another little feature that's cool with this TV. So it does have a gallery icon right there. Um, you can go into your Samsung app, upload images, and then you can use those images to be like the background, this screensaver that comes up on your TV if you don't wanna have um, the, the default that comes on there. Uh, something that does happen after you you haven't had any activity on the TV in a while, it'll go black, but then there'll be a Samsung image that kind of bounces around um, until it falls asleep. So yeah, there's that. Now, if you are looking to get this TV and you're, you're interested in the setup process, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put in footage of me setting this TV up now. So that way you can see what it's like to get this thing set up coming right out of the box and, and turning it on and getting it set up uh, so that way you can start watching it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in that footage here uh, so that way you can see that. And we'll turn off this light so that way we can see the screen really good.
some nice ambient music on the setup process. Very fancy. Okay, we'll wait Hello for the person. and welcome. Please download the SmartThings app on your mobile to start TV setup. Okay, and I already have the SmartThings app installed on my you phone. Press the right button to set up the TV with the TV remote. Please select your language. All right, we are going to... The gonna... accessibility function is available when you press and hold the mute button. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get it set up with the remote control instead of going through the SmartThings app. Okay, and then it discovers the local Wi-Fi connection networks. Alright, so it's discovering the Wi-Fi connection. And we are connected. All right, now we'll agree to all. I don't know anybody that actually reads those things. And then you'll have to sign in with your Samsung account. So if you don't have one, go ahead and create one now. I do have one, so we'll sign in. Okay, so the next step is to select if you are running a dish box like a direct TV or um, dish network. I'm not running any of them, so I do. Okay, so now we're here at the Make Your Smart Hub screen, and this is where you are selecting some of the apps that you want to add to it on um, as a default. So um, I am going to add the Apple TV, um, YouTube TV. I don't have. And I don't think I'm going to add any of the other ones, so just Apple TV on that screen. Your TV is ready to use. So we'll click done. All right. All right, so the ambient TV light is on, so it'll adjust automatically on the brightness, which is really cool. Uh, so whenever we turn on the light, the screen does get lighter. And then if we turn off the light, the screen gets brighter. So that's kind of a nice feature that Samsung incorporates into their TVs. Okay, so once you have it all set up, you can come over and add any kind of apps that you want that it doesn't have installed on there as default. Uh, so most of these apps are probably the ones that you are going to use. Hulu, Netflix... Maybe uh, your Disney Plus and Apple TV. Those are probably your main um, apps that people are using nowadays. So Hulu, Netflix, Prime Video, that's all installed on there by default. Uh, Google Play, for those of you guys who are Android users, that's on here as default. Uh, but you can add some of these other um, ones that I'm not really familiar with. So I don't know that I'm going to install too many. I'll just keep the ones that are on default and then you press the home button and it brings up the screen on the bottom. So now you just sign in to all your accounts and start enjoying your TV. Well, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hopefully it was a help to you if you're looking to get this TV. If it was, make sure you throw a thumbs up on this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so now. I'd love to have you back on the next one. Maybe hit that bell icon so that way you get notified. But um, until the next video, guys, be creative.